Hi, uh, hello. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you a demo project that integrates Arduino, Arduino with Java. Uh, this is the Arduino board. The Arduino board has connected a potentiometer here, uh, a light sensor, and the three buttons. Uh, the, the, these devices uh, like as uh, input devices. Uh, the board has uh, two LEDs here. The, these two LEDs uh, will be controlled by the Java application. The values of the light sensor, the, the potentiometer and the buttons will be shown in the Java application. The Java application The Java application shows the, the value in the light sensor here in, in this ball changing color. The potentiometer value is here with a bar and the, the buttons with these three lamps. Okay, And the LED and the LEDs will be controlled with these two buttons, LED A and LED B. The potentiometer and the light sensor here are connected to the analog inputs this is the connection for the potentiometer in the center the center and the poten the center potentiometer line is connected to the analog one and the and the voltage controlled by the light sensor is connected to the analog zero. The buttons here are connected using these resistors here, 10 car resistors are connected to digital inputs. There you go, two, three, and four. Okay, the LED, the LEDs are connected to digital outputs here to the line 13 and 12 okay. and uses a 100 ohms resistor how it works <coughs> uh, but well just connect the 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 Arduino board to the USB serial port and the run the application and okay you can see the values the potentiometer and the light sensor value and the buttons press okay let me show you here potentiometer the light sensor completely dark and brief light medium light dark okay the buttons the button, the button, the button, the button at the same time. Here. And the left, A and the B. Controlled by the buttons in the interface. Potentiometer. Let's uncensor light. Okay, how is possible the integration between Arduino and Java? Uh, you know, uh, Arduino has a serial port uh, connected to the PC via this USB cable 
Uh, this serial port is used for uh, born a program in the in the microcontroller or is used for debugging or is used in general purpose for uh, communication in communication uh, with the with the external world of our, of our project uh, well uh, this is the this is this case uh, we are using the serial port for communication with the real world uh, you can see here I can open the serial monitor and here you get the data sent by the Arduino board the data is composed in a string uh, that uh, has uh, a header here the value of the light sensor here the value of the potentiometer here and the value of the three buttons here this is the, the string that the Arduino board sends to the serial port and is received by the Java application and the Java application shows these, these values in the interface the Java application uh, needs a library to uh, to get access to the serial port in the, the PC serial port this library is the RxTx uh, library uh, you must be careful uh, to use the correct library 32 bits or 64 bits according to Java virtual machine uh, are, you, are you using uh, the installation of this library is it's very single. You must copy this uh, this jar, this file, uh, in the, in the class path of your project. And these two DLL uh, libraries, you must copy in the here in the GRE bin di directory into your Java virtual machine installation here. And you can see here the the jar file in the class path of the project. And the library is displayed here in the Eclipse. You can see here the documentation for COM ports, I2C ports, parallel, port, parallel ports, and serial ports. The Arduino code, in the Arduino code you can see here the definition for the pins. These two definitions are for the analogic inputs, analogic inputs for the a zero and a one for the potentiometer and the and the light sensor. These three definitions are for the three buttons here, the pin two, three and four here. Uh, the, this definition are for the for the LEDs in tier 13 and 12. Here in setup, we start uh, the serial interface with the maximum speed. Next, we set up uh, the pin, the, the buttons, ports for input, and the LED ports left pins for output. Uh, this function gets the values from the analog inputs here. Read the analog value for the light sensor. Read the analog value from the potentiometer and read the digital input from the, the buttons. And compose a message, a standard message that will be sent to the serial port. You can see here the, the header, three hexadecimal digits for for the analog analog value, and the light analog value. Uh, next, another three hexadecimal digits for the potentiometer, and three characters for each for 
each for button, one for preset button and zero if the button is not present. In the loop, uh, we get the inputs every time and compare if the, the values has been changed. If the values uh, change, then will be sent to the serial port. If the uh, and checks if the if any information in the in the serial port, the information that uh, uh, will be sent by the computer. In this case, information is sent in with the buttons delete A and B. When the the, the PC sends the, the value L1, change the change the, the the output in the pin 13 and if the the PC sends the, the value let, let 2 change the value in the pin output let 2 and uh, in the Java code uh, we have uh, this section uh, in this session we open the serial port uh, here we use the, the the library for open the serial port in the PC okay uh, the first step is uh, get the port using the, the name of the port com15 uh, open the port Casting the communication port to a serial port, set up the serial port using the same speed used in the Arduino project uh, and the same configuration data bits 8, stop bits 1, and parity none. Open the streams, input the stream, output the stream, and uh, get a serial, re a serial reader, input the stream reader for the, for the stream. Add a uh, event listener. Uh, the event listener is uh, is completed with this uh, function serial event and uh, set available the notifications. The serial event receive uh, uh, is is called when a serial event is is done. And uh, here I read the length the the string. I read the, the string from, from the serial port and I check if the line uh, is according with the standard for this communication, the header and the length for for the string. If the if the string accomplished with the standard then pass to the visualization. Here uh, we make a parsing of the line using split here and parsing the the tokens uh, that com that compound the this, the line the first uh, the first token is the value for the light and the second token is the value from the potentiometer and the third uh, value is the it cor correspond uh, to the buttons uh, these values are set to the visual components and the the magic occurs ok that's all I hope that, that you enjoyed this uh, demonstration uh, it's funny and amazing uh, thanks for watching.